Hello and welcome to Pop Along RC. Today we are talking about gearing. So, where do we start? Hopefully, most of you guys are familiar with the difference between a pinion gear and a spur gear, but if you're not, these here are pinion gears and these are the gears that we attach to the motor. Then you will have a spur gear which might look a little bit like this. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that your pinion gear meshes correctly with your spur gear. So in order to make sure the car meshes properly, Tamiya have designed this motor mount on the TTO1. So if we have a look at this chart, you can see that there are different positions to mount the motor um, if you change the size of the pinion or the size of the spur gear. But you will also notice this rather peculiar number that doesn't seem to relate directly to either the pinion or the spur. So what does this number mean? Well, this number is the final drive ratio. And what that is, it takes the ratio between the spur gear and the pinion gear, okay, and that will give you a ratio. So what you do is you take the number of teeth on the spur gear and you divide it by the number of teeth on the pinion gear. However, these are not the only gears that you have within the TTO1. In the TTO1 you also have the diff and within the diff there are more gears which again change the ratio. We need to apply a 2.6 multiple to that sum which will give you the numbers you see in this chart. So what do the numbers mean? Well, the higher the number, the slower the speed of the car. However, what it will give you is more torque, and how is that represented on the track? Well, more acceleration out of the turns. So, what gearing can you run on a TTO1? Well, you can get hold of these sets here, which will give you options of um, a 55 and a 58 tooth spur gear. The stock spur gear on the TTO1 is a 61. So that if you look back at the chart, you can see those three options. And then when it comes to pinions, you can get all the different variants of pinions. Why do I have so many options? Well, if I am running at Ellsbury, for example, which is one of our local clubs, it is a particularly tight and technical track. Therefore, I would probably need to gear this car for more acceleration and less top speed. However, if I was heading to the Iconic Cup, which I plan to do in the summer, and we're running outside on a track such as West London, I am going to want lots of top end speed to run through these fast flowing turns. So once you've learned the basics of your car, you can make some very subtle alterations with the gearing to give you optimum performance for your local track. Hopefully this video has not been too complicated and it's given you a very simple understanding of gear ratios. So just to recap then, we've got the number of teeth on the spur gear divided by the number of teeth on the pinion gear multiplied by the internal gear ratio, which for the TT01 is 2.6. And that is how you will calculate your gear ratios. However, there is another um, sum that some drivers often use, and that is called rollout. And what rollout does is it looks at the um, circumference of the tire. And the, the way you work that out is the diameter of the wheel times by pi, and then we add that into the equation and it will give you the rollout for the car. There are some really handy ratio calculators and I'm going to link some down in the description below so that you can start calculating your gear ratios for your cars if that is something you're interested in. Um, if you've got any more questions regarding the Tamiya TT01s which we are currently racing over at Leighton Buzzard please do put the questions down below and we will do our best to answer as many questions as possible.